Centoli oh, excuse me, Centifolia. You could have said that. All right, it's a sparkling floral, ah, it's a sparkling, ooh, I can't do it. It's What up, what gone at to say? It's your girl, Minna. In this video, we are talking about all of my fragrances for this month. If you are new, make sure you subscribe. I want you to comment because you can always enter a spontaneous giveaway. They're random, okay? So I just choose you out from the picking randomly. Text me if you are in the US. It's a free community. You can text me one-on-one. -on -one. Feel free to do that. Also follow on Instagram because when I'm not here, I am there. Now let's get into the video. Okay, so if you've been here for a while, you know already that your girl loves a good fragrance, okay? I have so many. And one day it dawned on me, I was like, hold on a second. I am neglecting so many fragrances because I have so many, I am I just can't get to all of them. And I truly just stick to a lot of the same ones. So I decided to make this thing where I set out fragrances that I'm going to be rotating through for the month and then I will put these away and then get new ones to try out. Not try, but just to use during that month. So I had this beautiful tray from Walmart. I will share it with you so you can grab it. If you want, all links are below. As always, check my description box. Everything is always there, be it a makeup video, be it a vlog, be it a, a video like this, okay? Now, all of you are wondering, this is a video from YouTube, okay? So I'm just excited because you know I love fragrance. If you've seen my videos on fragrances, you know I be turned up because I love me a good fragrance and today, I I don't have one on except for a perfume oil. So I'm putting on one of these bad boys today. Let's figure out which one it's gonna be. So the first fragrance is Replica Beach Walk. Baby, I have a bunch of replica fragrances and this one wasn't really on my radar. I was thinking, I don't go to the beach often, although I love the beach. I just didn't know how I'd make this work day to day if I wasn't on the beach. But then I had to realize that just because it's called Beach Walk does not mean that I should only wear it on vacation. I can do what I wanna do, you know? I know I can the whole thing. So this one is giving, it's a fresh, fragrance, okay, it's in the fresh fragrance family. It's a fresh floral. It has key notes of bergamot, heliotrope, and coconut milk. When I saw coconut milk, I said, that's me. I love milky scents, and this is so, I can't get a good whiff of it right now, but I just remember it being so good. I need those, those like professional like strips and stuff, but for now I just have paper towel. I'm so professional. Mm, I know it's gonna smell so good. Yes, it's very fresh. I'm smelling the milk. Yes, bergamot is a, is a fave of mine as well. I do like this a whole lot. Love it, love it, love it. So because I have so many fragrances, typically I love to go and get the big bottle, but I gotta be realistic. I have too many to like make my way through. So I decided to get this in a small version. So this is the one ounce and it is an eau de toilette. So it doesn't last as long as an eau de parfum would. Eau de parfum is oil-based, eau de toilette is water-based, but this smells really, really good. And I love it. It's a fresh scent. Like I said, it's one ounce and this is $76. Now, in the same brand, this is Maison Margiela, if I haven't mentioned that already. Maison Margiela replica. So they replicate times and places. This is Autumn Vibes. This one I got as part of a campaign with Sephora. I hadn't smelled it in a store, but I knew that it was new and I wasn't sure about it based on the description, but I was curious, right? Now, this one is an earthy and woody fragrance. It's the scent type is classic woods. It's got notes of red berries, cardamom, cedarwood, and moss. So this you might think is a masculine scent, but I can't lie, this is really good. It's very good for the winter time, the fall. I would not wear this in the summertime. So we're still in the like winter-ish time, although uh, some days we're giving 70 in Houston, but that's neither here nor there. I still really do like this. I remember I was in store at Sephora and the, what do you call them? Do, what what do they call them cast members? I'm not sure, but the people who work there, one of the guys, he mixed this with another replica and I was like, whoa, need it, let's go. So it's just fun to be able to mix scents together to really make it your own. This is really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's giving masculine, it's giving mortgage, you know, it's giving 20% down payment, no PMI, you know what I'm saying? It's giving, it's giving money, you know, definitely giving money. I like that one a lot. You may not like it. I would say if you like a fresh scent, Beach Walk, you'll enjoy. Beach Walk and Autumn Vibes, completely different 
sense. I would not advise autumn vibes to you unless you have ever ventured into masculine kind of sense and you're open to it. It's earthy, it's woody. I would say woody, okay? So you gotta be careful there, but I do enjoy it. Now, the next fragrance is Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. This was sent to me in PR. I knew that I wanted a Dior fragrance. I did not know what I wanted. This, in fact, was in my wish list on Sephora. So when I got it, I was like, oh, hold on, like, how do you know? Excuse me, excuse me, I'm seeing a Dior fragrance that I have tried in the, in the back in the day. Hold on, what was it called, what was it called, what was it called, what we at? J'adore. Who has not tried a J'adore? J'adore is giving granny, okay? Like, let me stop. The last time I tried J'adore, it was a long time ago. I wasn't a fragrance connoisseur during that time, so I did have a lot of bad things to say about J'adore because it was giving geriatrics, but... I think it is worth another try because I might like it now that I'm grown up, you know? I'm a, I'm a, a lady now. Okay, this is 1.7 fluid ounces and this is $112. It's Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. It's a floral. It's a warm floral. I do love warm florals. Okay, keynotes of Lily of the Valley, Centifolia Rose Soft Musk. Yes, I'm getting the musk in this, all right? Yes. Wow, okay, so I have not put this on in a few days. So I'm like, what? I, I forgot how it smelled. Wow, like really, really good, you know? Yes, it's giving musk, it's giving very expensive, it's giving appetizer, main course, you know, maybe some hors d'oeuvres, it's giving dessert, you know, it's giving valet. It's not giving Uber, it's giving valet. Like it is very, very good. It is so, it's a sexy, mature scent, baby. Listen, Valentine's Day coming around, let your man know, baby, you want Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. The bottle is so pretty too. I'm gonna wear this on Valentine's Day. Oh yes, this is giving me Valentine's Day. This is sexy. Oh, it's a good one, baby, it's a good one. All right, another fragrance that I have, this was actually a gift from my niece and I just, I just love it so much. She is just amazing. It's called Jimmy Choo. I want you, right? So cute. I want you. You know what I'm saying? I want you. This is a 1.3 ounce bottle and it's $66. And it's a sparkling floral <laughs> oriental fragrance. Ooh, say that in the accent. Sparkling, sparkling floral oriental fragrance infused with velvet peach. Yup and vanilla that gives way to a floral inflection of jasmine and red spider lily. I don't know what red spider lily is, but this is so good. I have tried another Jimmy Choo fr fragrance. I did not like it. I don't know what it was. This is a long time ago. I did not like it. So I was concerned about this. The bottle is really cute. Yeah, I can, okay, I'm getting the oriental. I'm getting the oriental. Like it's giving me oriental. Yeah, I like it, yeah. And the vanilla, yeah, 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 all of it. I love it, I love it a lot. Oh my gosh, so this next fragrance is a newbie. Like, I have, I've had some of these, Lily. <laughs> this is a new one. Uh, they're all new, who am, I, who am I kidding? Yeah. Kaali Eden Juicy Apple, let's talk about it. I already talked about her in a video in the past, but let's talk about her again. Beautiful, fiery red bottle, just gorgeous, first of all. Second of all, it's a fruity floral. The keynotes are juicy red apple, wild berries, and jasmine. Girl, we all, comment below and let me know if you remember the scent of Love Spell, Victoria's Secret. I feel like all the baddies in middle and high school had Love Spell. The purple, the purple fluid, baby, come on, talk about it. This is giving love spell in her 30s, you know? It's giving love spell in her 20s, you know? It's giving love spell revamped. It is so good, and I don't say that in a bad way. I say it in a good way. This is so good. This is an eau de parfum. It's gonna last you a while. Spray it all over yourself, head to toe. You can spray your hair with fragrance, you know? It is alcohol-based, you know, so. Don't do too much, you don't wanna dry your hair out, but just a little mist, you know? When you, get some, when you, give, when you give a hug, when you pass by, you don't want your hair to be all smelly. <laughs> we don't want that. We do not want that. Now the next fragrance, this is, uh -huh. Girl, you not gonna get your hands on this, but I'm gonna tell you about it anyway, because that is just how good it is. I have two of these. I have given one to my husband because he keeps on using my stuff and I don't like that. <laughs> 
I mean, it's fine, but like, come on. So I got him his own because ugh, he be going through the stuff way too fast. Fenty Beauty Eau de Parfum, baby. It sold out twice. I got one in PR when it first came out, and then I purchased it when it came out because it was that good. I want to have backups. I don't want this to ever run out, all the things. It is a magnolia and musk scent. Musk, I love musk. Okay, if you love musk, these are for you. If you're not, mm, look away. Look at the ones that I was telling you were a bit more floral. Magnolia and musk unite with tangerine, blueberry, and hints of Bulgarian rose. Absolute. Geranium, because it ain't geranium. Geranium and patchouli. I do love patchouli, baby. This is so good. This is giving money, okay? This is giving Lamborghini, girl. It's giving Bugatti. Girl is giving bat wings, you know? It's giving Dubai being pulled over in the Lambo. Like, you can't pulled over in the Lambo, baby. You know what I'm saying? They ain't pulling you over in a Ford Explorer, okay? They pulling you over in a Lambo. Like, this is good. It is strong. It is a commanding scent. If you wanna walk into a room and then people don't know who you are and you just kinda hide in the corner, don't put her on. You walk into a room, they're gonna say, wow, what are you wearing? Now, they might say that and be thinking, ew, because not everyone likes musk. I love a musk. That's just me. I love this scent. You gotta try it. If you have it, if you have any of these, comment and let me know. They are so good. Two more, okay? Now, the other one is this beautiful high heel. I've always wanted to know, growing up, what fragrance this was. I mean, I never knew. I was like, what is that high heel fragrance? And now, I'm a woman, baby. I'm a lady. Okay, so I, I figured out what this was when Sephora had their sale last. I went in store. Mm. Let me spray it because I need a reminder, honey. I went in store and I smelled the different ones. I almost sprayed it backwards. You spray it this way. The Yeah, the nozzle is right here. And I was like, oh, I want the, the Supreme. Yup, it's Supreme. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. This is also boss, like boss lady, just all the vibes. Sorry, I forgot to tell you all the the, the prices. The Fenty is one thirty. This one is. I'm just too excited. I can't even think straight, baby. This is the two point seven ounce, and it is one thirty two. This is a floral, a warm floral. No wonder I love it. It's like all the things. Keynotes are tuba rose, jasmine, and tonka bean. I like tonka bean. I have myrrh and tonka for my husband from Joe Malone. If you have if you have a man, a husband, father, uncle, brother, someone you really love, myrrh and tonka from Joe Malone. Oh. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna link that as a as an addendum, you know, in the description box. So good, I love Tonka. So the fact that this one has Tonka in it, the bottle is so sexy, baby. I mean, what more do you need? What more could you ask for? Girl, mm -mm. I feel like every lady, <laughs> lady, every lady needs to have this because it's just so sexy. Ah! I feel like it should be a rite of passage. <laughs> I'm making it up, right there, boom. Rite of passage, Carolina, herrera. Good girl, auto perfume, supreme, mm -hmm, that one. All right, and this last one is Ana More, baby. Like, I just had to throw this one in here because so old school, so, so good. I had this as a teenager, so I was doing something right, okay? <laughs> Out of all the mess. The confusion, I was doing something right. I had Anamore and then I forgot all about it. And I was on social and then Lisa Alamode, if you're not following her, take a look at her page. She posted this that she had purchased it and I was like, oh my God, Anamore, like what? I know Anamore, like what? Who doesn't? And I know a lot of y'all do know her too. So good, so I purchased her. This is a sharp woody oriental. I like the oriental, so which one had oriental too? It was something, it was the Jimmy Choo and Anamore. It's probably Anamore. And look at me, I'm saying Anamore. I can't do it, okay? It's just an accent, okay. It's a sharp, woody, oriental fragrance. It's an eau de parfum. Oh, it came out in 95, okay? I was 10 when it came out, praise the Lord. It has a sensuous combination of wild strawberry, bilberry, never heard of it, love to hear it, blackberry, black currant, and they lend a sweet, stimulating aroma to the top notes. The heart of the fragrance has Bulgarian rose, or Lang, is it Lang Lang? Is the Y silent? I don't wanna be ignorant, that is so annoying. I think it's Lang Lang, the Y is silent. Jasmine, French, peony baby all of the notes that i love when you find fragrances that you love look up the notes and then you'll start to be able to identify the notes in other fragrances when you look up those notes because many of these fragrances are familiar to me because i like these notes a lot these are the eight fragrances that i'm going to be using i mean i cheated a little bit i've been using this 
<laughs> for a few weeks, but here we are, okay? These are the fragrances that I'm going to be using this month. We're gonna be rotating them through, you know what I'm saying, talking about them on the vlog or whatever and on IG stories. I love these fragrances. I love the idea. I want you to comment and let me know if you are using a particular fragrance that you have not changed. Do you rotate through yours? Do you, what do you do? What do you do? Because I have so many that I just needed a way to be able to give them all an equal opportunity. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna link two videos for you to watch because I want you to Stick around, comment, and let me know what about this video you loved and liked. Make sure you subscribe. If you laughed, if you smiled, if you were still breathing at the end of this video, that means you liked it. Are you saying? Give your girl a subscribe and a thumbs up because it's free. You might as well. Follow on Instagram, text me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.